Right, hello there, welcome. Uh, my name is Sky, and I thought we'd go through the little test I had. So I'd set up uh, two laptops, and I loaded up Dylan Book on both of them, and did myself a little test Now this was between Draggy's Casters, I think that's the right say, and uh, Satin King Beetle Draggy's. Seemed like an interesting combo, and it kind of worked out pretty well in this duel. Better than pure Draggy's. Uh, better than pure satin, anyway. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's get started. So starting off, I play Dark Sorcerer. I didn't really have much in my hand to go off of. I think I only had like Dark Sorcerer and a couple level, a couple 1100 attack. So I want to be have something there on the board that wasn't just purely defensive. Plus, I think I set, what was that? Yeah, I set Magical Stream. So at least this way, maybe if I survived one of my creatures, I could get off the Magical Stream. And if I'm correct, I do get it off. I also set the Winter Rate Blessing, so yeah, that's good. Pass the turn over, and I play on the opposite side, Twinish Dragon, and a Dragolite. Very similar moving, movement, except Twinish Dragon, if you don't know, uh, discard one card, and tw it can attack twice. It can be a pretty decent card late game if you've got the open, if you've got the opening. Um, but definitely, kind of, I would say not so good unless it's tribute for or mid game. It's a card I would use primarily if I was to take something out at the end, uh, which I think I have done a couple times since actually getting some wins in. Um, so let's uh, effective twin edge. So I believe I was going for the attack here. I don't remember why. Oh no, I do. Uh, I was because this is the the top deck is the satin cast the satin beetle. Satin King Beetle, sorry. Um, I was trying to get the Palm Size Drago in my hand to the drop zone, so that way I could then have more attack for it. I think this enabled me to get a base of... I think it's going to be a base of, what, 200, 100 plus? And then when I got the other one out, which I think I attributed a new... Which I think I attributed a strafe... A, I don't know if you heard that. Uh, but I attributed a stray familiar to get a Satin Beetle. But that's next turn, I think. So, this turn we go with... Oop. I actually set a card and had set back down. Uh, I set a monster. set two monsters, actually. Tribute Bow. And I set the board. Activate Magical Stream to destroy his the set monster. The set card, sorry. <coughs> I believe it was a bluff of some sort. I don't believe it was anything of much use. And if it was... Actually, what? No. Was it, was it Dragon Card? Well, we'll just have to see. Yeah, okay, Recovery Force. Uh, see, that's one thing Recovery Force isn't so good of. And actually, I just remember what my plan here was. I was hoping to try and... Well, obviously, I knew, but... The idea would be you'd do that to try and, I guess, trick your opponent thinking, hey, they've got a counter-offensive because they haven't switched the most defense position. I don't know, it just seemed like something I would... Something interesting to do. Um, and then we've got two... Winter at Blessings. We discard the Dragolite to get... Plus thousand on, so we get plus one thousand on. Uh, seven zord. And we activate seven zord's effect, so that's plus six hundred plus thousand, so that's uh, thirty, thirty seven hundred. Sorry, we attack that, and that deals what thirty two hundred damage, which I deal I know twenty hundred damage, which I do in a twelve hundred and one one thousand, because I forgot math. Then we go for the attack on the uh, Twin Edge to deal another 500. And bringing Saturn King kind of into a, I, I would say, more defensive position in the game. Um, I say that they kind of, at this point, deal a lot more damage. Uh, getting the opponent actually quite close to losing. However, we'll get to that when we get to that. But it's definitely interesting. I feel like Saturn can work in the right context. You see there, we have we with enough level ones, we can quite easily attribute them to something like a drag years, which would make the deck more viable because drag years is amazing, and also gets more level ones in the d graveyard for Saturn King, which I actually summon now by attributing Dragolite. So that's already so both of them have mill effects, which is good, um, because it means I could get both effects off. However, the main thing that concerned me, I think, with this was uh, 
dealing with some of those jobs I can de deal with quite easily with Rush, Dr Rush Dragon uh, Rush Dragon Dragius and no back row please I take care of um so we got no level ones there and pretty much just it was plus what 300 uh, plus 300 yeah so we take out that perfectly fine and I can hope for the two level ones but that's best what, that's basically the scenario now I want to talk a little about cost this was kind of a weird move because I played all of my cards in my hand and typically if you have typically I find if you have cards in your hand at the end of a turn there are cards you can't use at that moment and are typically dead draws of some degree so ending a ending a turn with zero cards in hand is I would say better because you get more options um because you're giving them more cards the next turn uh but I don't I don't necessarily know if the cost of that is necessarily worth it but again we got the point to nearly half health and this is when things get a bit interesting. We actually recover for us. We take uh, two dark sources, I think, yeah. And seven swords, and then we also shuffle deck and draw a card. And then we go for the bull farm and trigger that thing the corner. Set the set I think that set that's a cut and sparks, yep. And discard Torna to switch Dragon's defense and take that out, because that's currently the biggest problem on the board. I would say um, and then after that, we don't have much else. I think we need to deal with. Drago, 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 uh, Panzer Drago, Satin King. Uh, we tribute two. We have now what four or five in the graveyard? Uh, four. Okay, so it's four more. So that's two. Th no, twenty one hundred actually. So that's a five hundred damage, but that's destroyed because we get the kind of sparks as we have the wind torner. So we lose 500, that makes us equal, and we take the both each other, take each other out. So that's not great, uh, but we still get the, what, 3600 off, which is pretty decent. And leaving them to 2100, and I think this is where, uh, I lose, where this side of me loses, stops losing life points. Because <coughs> I believe this is actually the final turn. Um, so effect of... Twin Edge, discard a card, and once card discarded, null card, Dragius takes out, uh, Dragolite, thousand damage, takes out the, uh, Satin King, 800 damage, and then double attack from Twin Edge, full game, and that's the only duel I did this far, I just want to keep it simple for the, for this duel, uh, one duel, simple deck testing, and I, I I'm actually, Whilst it's still lost, I'm actually very happy with how Satin King performed, given how little support he has for his native effect. And Satin King is technically the boss monster of this deck. Uh, he's tr he's treated as such enemy with most of the cards relying on getting things to the graveyard to hand, or drawing cards out by getting rid of other cards that aren't necessarily useful. So there are things like the Wolf, I think there's Wolf Arms and Stark Sorcerer stuff. Those are more for, we. I use them as a discard fodder or recovery fodder, recovery post fodder to then get the cards I need to get Satin King out or to get other discard cards basically to build up the graveyard. And as I don't know what else to say, I think that was a decent duel. Satin King performed relatively well for what Satin King can do. Uh, I think obviously a big part of that was drag years. But even still, Satin King took out a fair few cards, I think. Um, anyway, if you like this video, I would encourage you to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me if you like this format. Because um, it took me quite a bit of figuring out how I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to do the dual laptop dueling myself format for all the time. However, I would do it a couple times just for testing purposes. So testing duels, I'll do that but. If it's something along the lines of uh, a regular duel, I'm probably just going to do it like this in post. But anyway, thank you, have a good day, and see you later.